Two vans, new vans, will provide much needed health care to those experiencing homelessness in Portland. These new mobile clinics will meet the homeless population at shelter sites and at both sanctioned and unsanctioned camps. Fox Wells Carter McCarthy joins us live to tell us about the impact the new vans will make. Connor. Oriel, these two new vans are owned and operated by Central City Concern. The goal of these vans is to bring health care to the homeless community when typically it can be difficult for them to access doctors. And those that I spoke with who are experiencing homelessness say that they can't wait to see these vans going around the community and helping people out. Helping the unhoused community get easier access to health care in the city of Portland. Um, it can be really difficult, especially when you don't always have a phone that works or a place for them to call back. Um, it can be it can be hard to get those appointments. So. Elizabeth is one of thousands of people experiencing homelessness in Portland who say it's not easy to get a quick checkup at the doctor's office. She didn't want her face shown on camera for privacy, but says that she's happy Central City Concern will have these two mobile clinics bringing the doctor's office to her. Everybody needs their, you know, just their yearly checkups at least, you know, your heart, um, especially being out here, you know, you want to make sure that your heart's good and your, your, your blood work, I mean, just everything, because there's so many things that can just pop up. Central City Concern's new mobile clinics are funded by organizations like the Joint Office of Homeless Services, Oregon Health Authority and Trillium Community Health Plan. Lori Dolo Scott is a nurse with Central City Concern and says that these vans will provide a wide range of health care. This includes primary care, suturing, and diabetic care. There will also be opportunities for people to connect with mental health and housing services. She says the vans help break down barriers that those experiencing homelessness may face. The, the stories that I've heard are a lot of people have felt shame going into traditional health care in the past. And so um, we have, I'm a nurse, um, and we have a lot of work to do to make sure that we are treating humans as humans in a dignified and respectful manner, no matter how they show up on our doorstep. The vans will park at shelters, day centers, and both unsanctioned and sanctioned camps for people to see a doctor. Elizabeth says that she and others in the unhoused community are excited to have this new resource to help them survive living on the streets. Um, I think that this is just going to be another awesome thing for them to, to put out there and one more thing to help people who maybe don't have all the resources that are needed that, you know, are be out here sick and dying because they can't get into a doctor. Boreal Central City Concern says they plan on operating these vans as soon as possible and those in the homeless community can access these doctors between 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Tuesday through Friday. But for now, reporting live in southwest Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon.